Hey, I've got a cool tutorial for you today, and it involves one of these innocent little things, yep, yeah, that belongs in the kitchen and should never be within 10 miles of your car. It's a regular old sponge with a Scotch-Brite scouring pad on the other side. Now, you wouldn't be the first person that tried to use one of these to remove dried bugs and splats on the front of your car, but these things can cause some serious clear coat damage. But don't worry, if this happened to you or it ever happens in the future, your ultimate car scratch remover will remove those scratches no problem. So just sit back, follow along, and uh, enjoy the ride. We've got this beautiful E46 M3 deck lid, and we're gonna do some nasty things to it. So if you were weak in the knees, and you don't like seeing this kind of stuff, I think you might want to turn your computer off now. Okay, so I've got this deck lid off this M3 here, and I'm going to take a um, scouring pad from the kitchen. Uh, believe it or not, this is something that happens a lot to people, especially when they're trying to remove uh, bugs off the front of a car that have stuck. And I'll get into the proper ways of taking bugs off of a car without damaging your paint. But for now, let's just see how this will come out. So I'm just going to take this and simulate, I don't know, I've got some bugs here. And so I'll just kind of grind that in. Okay, the bugs are all gone. All right, so we've got some pretty good scratches there. And we'll just go around in a circle. This is usually how people try and get... Uh, bug scratches out. So we'll make some swirls there. So get some circular pattern. Okay, so that's that's some pretty bad damage on this uh, clear coat. Okay, so we'll just tape this off so we'll have a real good before and after. Okay, so you can hit this with Totally Bitch and Scratch Remover and see, but I can tell you that typically, that as long as I ground into that with that thing, that Totally Bitchin' will make it look better, but it won't take those scratches. You, you have essentially sandpapered uh, the clear coat on your car, which is some pretty severe damage. So we're gonna use the safety sand. We're gonna jump right into it here. The safety sand is a 3500 grit latex patented wet and dry system. Put a little purple glides, a little lubricant on there. And this is how you hold a safety sand. You kind of squeeze it like this and you use little scrubbing motions. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. What I like to do is dry it off with the towel and then just take a look and check it in different lights. And, and typically you can see the safety sand will burnish it but you'll be able to see any of the deep scratches. So for this, I think we'll just do another five second blast. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. I'm gonna go a little bit longer because I'm gonna do this whole section all at once. So only a couple more seconds. So realistically, I only hit this area for maybe about 12, 12 seconds with the safety sand. Now grab a totally bitch and scratch remover and the blue microfiber. And this will, this will definitely take two applications because, and you can go in circular motions. Sometimes I like to go back and forth. You can put a little bit more pressure into it and pull the compound back in. Now a scale of one to 10, after using the safety sand, I'm using about eight. I'm kind of laying into this just a little bit. I'm working out in the sun today, so it's actually not the best, especially on this dark colored car, because it makes the compound dry out, the Totally Bitch and Scratch Mover uh, dry out just a little bit faster than it normally would. So you have to work a little faster. If you've got a cool surface and you're working in the shade, it's always much better. All right, let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, so I can see that that almost got it. There's just a little bit of peripheral scratches, but it's only from the safety sand. The scratches from the Brillo pad or the green uh, Scotch-Brite sponge have been removed pretty much, 
So like I said, it always takes, when you use a safety sand, it always takes two applications typically, especially since we did two five second blasts plus a little bit more. So we're gonna do our second application of Totally Bits and Scratch Mover. Pull it in in circular motions and then use straight motions like this. And I'm still pressing pretty good, about an 8 out of 10. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on my knuckles, so I've got a real big contact area. And you only go as long as the, when the polish disappears, you know it's done its job. Okay, so next we're going to use evening glass glaze. It's kind of the icing on the cake and it'll take out any super micro fine scratches left by the polish itself. Scale of one to ten, I'm you know pressing like, like four, five. Now you don't need, this isn't removing any scratches, it's just bringing out the deep luster of the paint. And just go till it just about disappears. Maybe about 10, 15 seconds usually for a small area like this. One application of evening glass glaze is usually will do the trick on dark colored cars sometimes an extra application will really make the color pop. Okay, so we've polished and we've glazed and now we're going to use a Sacred Shine sealant to seal up the repaired area. This takes a little tiny bit. Most people use way too much of this sealant. It's a polymer acrylic. And when you do your whole car with it, or even a repaired area, the protection lasts for six to eight months. It actually bonds molecularly to the paint. That's a good one to say. So you just rub this in like this. And then we're going to let this haze for about five minutes. So you know when the sealant's ready to buff and it's haze enough, just take your finger and when it comes off clean like that, you just buff it. Just a light buff, that's all it takes. Nothing to it. Okay, so let's pull the paper and let's see what we've got. All right, so there you go. There is the damage. There's those, those are some pretty, I can actually see, you probably can't see in the camera lens here. There are some pretty good deep scratches, not only this abrasion part up here, but some pretty deep scratches from the circular motion. So this is it, it is perfect.